Good morning friends, I'm out here on my porch this morning and I thought, hey, I should let you in on a little secret that I have been doing each morning this summer. I think it could revolutionize your decorating success. Each morning this summer, I go out and I spend an hour in my garden. The purpose is that it's therapeutic, not that it is so goal oriented, although I do have goals that I'm meeting each time. So I wanna pass that idea on to you. When winter comes and it starts to rain, which it rains a ton in Washington, they're not lying when they say it rains nine months out of the year here. So when the sun goes away here in the fall, and I have a rainy morning, I'm gonna spend an hour working on my house. So, and not cleaning. Well, I can't promise I won't be cleaning, but I wanna do the painting and the upholstery and all the things that just struggle to get done. So let's take a look at what's going on around my place as I'm giving you an up, this updated tour, I want to pass on to you the principles that I use in interior design and how they translate into your outdoor spaces. They're the same principles. When I start my garden hour each morning, I am grabbing a cup of tea, heading outside. I keep my, my socks and shoes and gloves out with all my gardening supplies. I flip on one of my favorite decorating podcasts and then I look over my goals for each day. Here's a gardening hack for you with green onions. My favorite way to grow them is actually just to grab green onions from the produce section of the grocery store and you can see the roots are still intact and I plant those straight into the ground. That's the cheapest, fastest way I know to do green onions. So let me show you around my fire pit for a moment. I think this is a really good space to go over some interior design principles that apply outside. One of the things you're going to need to do is think about seating and how people interact. So I like to group the chairs together in twos or threes to just encourage conversation and just make it easy for people when they're over here to sit down and feel like they have a friend. So we're going to set up the Adirondack chairs in little groups. And then I recently purchased this cute little picnic table from JCPenney and it came orangey wood, a lot oranger than the picture looked online. And so I ended up painting it white. The second thing you should do is hone in on your colors and be really strict with yourself about your colors. You already have green and brown that you're naturally going to be working with. So I suggest some something pretty basic. So for me, it's gonna be a charcoal and a cream and then maybe a light gray. So that's it. That helps guide me with paint colors and fabric choices and makes it look all cohesive when it's done. Pretty simple formula. I'm adding in some cream pillows to make it more cozy and comfortable. I think anytime you bring out fabric into an outdoor space, you, you take it to the next level for sure and you make it that much more cozy. Just be mindful that it's something that you can wash later. So all of my fabrics are white and they have texture to them. And I love these, these are my pom-pom pillows that I rave about, I get these on Amazon. So I highly recommend those. If you could get one set of pillow covers, I would be getting these. So then I finally come back in with some extra touches like string lights to make it really dreamy at night. I'll put a pot of flowers on the tables.
grass and morning glory are my two least favorite things in the garden. So since starting my little morning ritual in the garden, I've gone a very secret garden. In my mind, like I'm gonna come rescue this place just day by day. And <laughs> so one of the things that's on my bucket list is to get my greenhouse looking a lot more like a Hartley Botanic greenhouse. We got this for free, but the panels are shot and I'm going to buy some new corrugated pieces and have to cut them down and rebuild this and then I'm thinking about painting the frame and adding finials and making it organized inside and decorated outside so I'll keep you posted on how that goes and then for the rest of the time I just have a few goals each day and I'm weeding and watering and planting and harvesting and it's just been a really great experience and I think I should have been doing it this way all along just for the enjoyment of it and I want you to apply this principle to your own house. So have your list, but just spend a little bit of relaxing time each day working on some of it and don't stress about how long it takes. Just really enjoy the process. And I think we're gonna be a lot more successful with our decorating.